When I was young, I kept this diary and it was purple on the outside. It had this lock and key and I kept it right under my pillow. And I can remember my mom saying, you don't have to sleep with the diary. Nobody in the house is going to read it. But the funny thing was, I never really wrote about anything serious in the diary because everything that I felt was like so serious that I never wanted anyone to read, I kept all in here or all in here. So the only thing that was ever in the diary was like things that happened during the daytime that really didn't bother me or things that I felt like, hey, maybe I'll write about this in a story or maybe I'll put it in a poem. So again, there was never really anything serious. So one time I lost my key to the diary and I was so upset about it. And I had Charnel like looking up under the bed. I had my dad flipping my mattress over. I was looking all in my closet. I could not find the key to the diary. And I remember being so upset. And my mom was like, well, what is in this diary that you have to have the key to it? And I just was like, I have to have the key. I have to be able to get into my diary. And then I remember thinking, why? Why do I need to get into this diary? There's nothing really important in it. Honestly, everything that was in it was probably stuff that had just happened at school that really didn't mean a hill of beans in the diary. But then my dad was like, honestly, April, I can just break the lock because clearly this was like a $5 diary. It really wasn't that important. And so then he broke the lock. I opened up the diary. And as I said, there was nothing meaningful in the diary. But now I'm thinking, maybe it's time for me to unlock my real diary. Maybe it's time for me to let people in to the things that are actually in my mind, the things that are actually in my heart. Because sometimes I'm walking around and there's like this Jonathan McReynolds song where he talks about people who are on the roller coaster and there are people who are walking around that feeling so heavy and maybe I just need to kind of let it all out. And I'm not gonna let everything out, but I'm thinking maybe I can let out some of the pages of my diary. Who sings a song like that? Is it Alicia Keys? I think so. And so I'm gonna let some of my pages of my diary out. So I think I'm gonna call these confessions. Yeah, I think I like that. The pages of my diary, call it confessions. Confessions of a church girl? No, I don't like that. Just confessions. Make sure to connect with me on social at AS Davenport and at Fresh Start Fridays. For more information on the podcast, please visit www.asdministries.org. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the show and be a part of April's Army.